I've now reacted to a few black midi pieces and some of them are pretty insane But I don't think I've ever seen one that claims to have six million notes in it So that's what we're gonna react to today with a song called Tao the song with 6.28318 million notes So let's get into it That's okay so far with a mere 14 notes It's quite a nice set of chords. You've got B minor, A major, G major, and D major, I think. So it's in the key of B minor. That's the B minor, then A major. I feel like that's cheating a bit to get the note number higher. We're at 500, and it's because some of the notes are going... definitely possible to play a version of it because it's got a very clear melody and very clear harmony. That's pretty cool. We are still only at 90,000 notes. There's a long way to go to get to 6 million. Okay, so a lot of that is just kind of... It's a good way of getting the note numbers up. The fact that it's coming towards you and it's also going across like that, it's really confusing to look at. So using very standard music theory, that's an F-sharp dominant 7th chord which is always used to go back to the home chord because it's chord 5 to chord 1 which is very very common in classical music that's a new chord because it did the same but then it went Super nice. Ooh. It always sounds really nice when the chords change by the left hand moving up just a key at a time. Like, that's G. I hope it goes to there. And it does. more than a normal piano's size. Yes, that's now physically impossible to play because there's too many keys. It's still retaining that chord sequence, which is nice. I think a lot of the time with these black MIDI pieces, because they're trying to use a lot of keys at the same time, they just lower the volume on all of the keys that aren't relevant, and you just kind of get... ...whatever the actual chords are. But then you've got this going on... ...really fast underneath. kind of interesting. It's outlining chords, but it's got kind of three notes on the top. It's 
actually written really well. It's very melodic. It's quite a pleasing song to listen to in its own right, as well as trying to be very impressive, obviously. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of the Game of Thrones theme tune a little bit with the chord structure. It's like... It's kind of got that chord structure. don't know whether this was a tune before this. I'm probably being really ignorant by not knowing that because it probably was, which is probably why it's so pleasing as a song. Let me know in the comments if this was something before it was this. <laughs> That's nice, arpeggio is across the top. If we're now at two million notes or two and a half million notes, there's gotta be something pretty epic coming up. Here we go. Are you ready? I don't think I am. I mean, if you just look at the actual piano at the bottom of the screen, it looks like it's been absolutely mashed. I mean, that safely got through about three million notes just in that section. It's a really nice chord structure, a nice melody. Very nice. I liked that one. I think there was a lot more depth in terms of musicality and stuff that was going on. I think sometimes with black midi pieces, obviously there's an element of trying to throw in as many notes as you can, but sometimes the music gets lost in the process. Another very epic black midi piece is In the Hall of the Mountain King. And in this video, I react to that. So if you're interested in that, head on through and I will see you there.